Distinguished colleagues, the Distinguished colleagues, the Senate is in, um, my leader of the Senate, I, I would have loved to confer with you, but no problem. The Senate is in receipt of two documents signed by the minority caucus of the Senate. And um, I've seen about 41 signatories here saying that they have a temporary replacement for the minority leader of the Senate. And this is a resolution of the minorities in favor of Senator Abba Moro. And having seen that he has about 41 signatories to his credit as majority, uh, minority leader of the Senate. I therefore have the privilege to announce that the senior senator Abba Moro be moved forward as a minority leader of the Senate. Just take your seat. Distinguished colleagues, I also have uh, another document signed by the minority leaders, majority of whom, about 30, 30 of them have also signed, nominating Senator Osutangu as a Senate Minority Whip. Therefore, it's my privilege to announce that they have a temporary replacement of uh, Senator Ositangu as the Senate Minority Whip. Will you so please? The Senior Senator Ositangu, please take your seat as the Minority Whip. Yes, other, other words? the APC, I'm sure they would have been fair, they, they would have been equitable. So, 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 I mean, so, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm in total sympathy with Labour Party, I'm in total sympathy with the minority uh, parties, SDP, and uh, I think they have uh, other parties. So if this is, because I'm dealing with documents in my front, I have majority out of the total majority, not just ordinary majority. So that is PDP for you. So your, your point of order is noted. Yeah, leader of the Senate. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
slaves. I have to suspend me here. I will have slaves. Every time you keep on doing leadership for us, we are not your slaves. What are you looking for? The way you are left out with you, we are not your slaves. The way you are left out was the way you are left out. How did you do it? You are born your boss.
please, next time you bring anything to us to announce, make sure that you have put your house in order. Make sure you have put your house in order. The Senate President can only work with evidence before him. In my front, if you have, you have Abga, a very distinguished senator, Abaribe, very ranked in every way, his name is not here. You have Senator Adero, a very distinguished and ranked senator, his name is not here. You have even the former speaker of the House of Representatives, the Swiss Senator Tambua, his name is not here. But I've been given two papers. We have the Swiss Senator Dixon. We have the Swiss Senator Lau. We have the Swiss Senator Kwashiki. Even though he's of the SDP, his name is not here. We also have um, uh, the Swiss Senator. We have the Supreme Senator Jaribe, the Supreme Senator Jaribe, a ranking senator. His name is not here. But taking cognizance of the number of senators in the minority caucus, you need to know that all you need to produce a leader is majority. If you are like 48 or 49, and 30 people have signed for one person, what is the magic? that you say that it should not be announced. If you are like 48 or 49, and 41 people have signed for Abamoro, what is the reason why you say the Senate President should not announce? It's not everybody that will agree, but majority have agreed. And the, and the, two, papers are, and the two papers are before me. Uh, uh, please, let me finish now, let, let me finish. Um, the student senator, is that my duty? Is that my duty? No, I didn't call you. I just wanted to recognize you. <laughs> so I, I don't, uh, Senator Walada, uh, uh, Senator Walada, I didn't call you, but I wanted to recognize you. Senator Williams, I, I wanted to recognize you. Uh, so I will listen to points of order, but I want you to bear something in mind. In my front, I have two papers. Majority of the senators, I'm sure, I believe some are still signing, because not all of you have signed for Senator Bamoro, but he already has the majority. It will be unfair for me to ignore the majority signatures and not announce him as your uh, minority whip for now. At the same time, a minority leader, it would also be unfair for me to see somebody who has majority and what he actually needs will be like maybe 24 or 25 senators and he has up to 30 and then I will not announce it. So it doesn't matter your personal reservations. I just want to plead with my colleagues to understand that my job here is not to take individual opinions or to work on the basis of what is convenient to you, but to work on the basis of truth. So this issue of minority leader or minority whip is for now rested until you produce an alternative paper in future. Right, uh, uh, order 42, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues. It says, by the intelligence of the Senate, and the leave of the president of the Senate, a senator will make a personal explanation. Although there will be no question before the Senate, but no controversial matter may be brought forward, nor may debate arise upon explanation. The terms of the proposed statement shall be submitted in detail to the president of the Senate when he leaves to make it his thought. Mr. President, uh, we had a meeting this morning of all the minority caucus. And uh, we dissolve that distinguished Senator Abba Moro should be the leader of the minority caucus of the 10th Senate. On the issue of uh, minority whip, we had two candidates 
that are interested. And it was decided that in view of the disagreement between them, we resolve to meet at a later date to decide on who should be the minority whip. And I have been mandated as the leader of the caucus to come and submit the list of signatures that, or the list of senators rather, that signed for Senator Abomaru. But I have not been mandated to submit the names of senators that signed for Osita. So, and I advise very strongly that uh, in order not to cause division within the ranks and file of the minority caucus, you stay action on the announcement of the minority. Yes, let me. Yeah, yeah, um, your, your, your point of order is noted. Leader, let me sit down. Leader, let me also refresh your mind. Because uh, we, I mean, we are, we are, this is, uh, we are like a uh, court. So we have our rules. Leader, please open to rule 52. 52.6. Rule 52.6 says, it shall be out of order to attempt to reconsider any specific question upon which the Senate has come to a conclusion during the current session, except upon a substantive motion for rescission. The, uh, the Senate has dropped the governor and you can only exercise any issue on what we have decided through your submissions by coming through Order 52, Sub 6.